Swinex filter holders give you the flexibility to make your own syringe filter. These filter holders can be used with 13 millimeter, 25 millimeter, or 47 millimeter filters, allowing you to swap in the right membrane for sample and applications. Swinex filter holders can be used for clarification or filter sterilization of small volume liquids up to one liter. If desired, a microfiber glass pre-filter disc may be placed on top of the filter in the same holder to reduce filter clogging. For sterile filtration, Swinex filter holders can be autoclaved with the membrane in place. You can also connect a Swinex 47 mm filter holder with tubing to a pressurized reservoir or automatic filling machine for inline filtering of larger volumes. First, inspect the gasket or O-rings and sealing surfaces for damage. Imperfections can cause leaks during filtration. Replace any damaged parts. Using smooth tip forceps, center the filter on the holder support screen, place the gasket on top of the filter, then replace and tighten the top of the filter holder. If a pre-filter is used in either of these units, it must be fitted inside the gasket, and this combination is then placed on top of the filter. The gasket seals the holder against leakage when these holders are securely hand-tightened. Check for any leakage. The device is now ready for non-sterile usage. Swinex 47 holders have an O-ring seated in the top half of the holder. Your model may have a gasket that is seated also on the lower half of the holder. Check that the O-rings are in place. Position the filter on top of the O-ring, minding filter orientation if necessary. Holding the top half upside down, replace the bottom half and tighten. Finger tight at first, then using a special wrench supplied with the holder, continue to tighten. Do not turn the holder upright again until it is completely tightened. If a pre-filter is used, center it in the inverted top half of the filter before installing the filter. For sterile applications, holders can be assembled with a filter in place and then autoclaved. Hand tighten until it just meets resistance so the inserted filter does not shift and use a liquid exhaust or slow typical cycle. After the autoclave cycle, cool to room temperature before fully tightening the unit. Use aseptic technique when handling. The filter may be recoverable for further analysis or other applications as your procedure dictates. Check syringe compatibility with a Swinex holder. Draw the unfiltered sample into the syringe. If the holders have been sterilized, use aseptic technique. Invert the syringe so the syringe outlet is pointing up and the air bubbles are purged before attaching the Swinex device in the inverted position. Press syringe plunger to remove the air from inside the device and fill the device. Continue to pressing the syringe barrel until one to two drops of liquid can be seen coming out from the Swinex outlet. Invert the setup and continue to press the syringe barrel until the desired volume is filtered and directed into your receiving container. Remove Swinex device from syringe. Disassemble and discard filter or any pre-filter material using appropriate safety precautions and dispose of according to local guidelines. Perform autoclave kill cycle as needed. Wash with mild soap and water. Rinse and dry thoroughly before reuse. Take care not to introduce added particles or debris to gaskets when washing and drying. For air or gas filtration, check inlet and outlet connection compatibility of the air or gas line to the Swinex holder. Attach the Swinex holder to the inline setup. Do not exceed the maximum device pressure rating. Change a filter after single use, which is typically less than 24 hours. Remove Swinex device from the syringe, disassemble and discard filter and or any pre-filter material using appropriate safety precautions and dispose of according to local guidelines. Perform autoclave kill cycles as needed. When using the 47 millimeter Swinex filter holder with dispensing pressure vessels, Note the maximum pressure rating 
for system requirements. Check the inlet and outlet connection compatibility to the Swinex holder to the inline pressurized dispensing system. Do not exceed maximum device pressure rating of 10.6 bar or 75 PSI for the Swinex 47 holders. In this example today, I'll be showing you the filtration method using a 5 liter dispensing vessel pressurized with a positive pressure pump set to 15 PSI. Fill the dispensing pressure vessel with a sample to be filtered. Pressurize your system. Open the outlet valve to purge the outlet port and fill line. Turn off valve to stop flow. Attach Swinex 47 to the outlet of the dispensing vessel and center over collection container, or you can attach a tube to the outlet. Open the valve to initiate flow and close the valve to stop flow. Replace Swinex 47 holders after a max volume is achieved to 1000 mil. Remove the Swinex device from the system, disassemble and discard the filter and or any pre-filter material using appropriate safety precautions and dispose of according to local guidelines. Perform autoclave kill cycles as needed.